Hey y'all, Grandma Rose here. I am walking back to get my chickens, to feed my chickens. And while I am back here, I'm walking back to a shrub that is just now starting to bloom for me. Let me look over my shoulder and you can see this shrub. Here we go, right there. Maybe, an, oh man, the sun is in my eyes now. So let me let me show you this shrub. It's called an abelia, A-B-E-L-I-A, -E and it's just beginning to bloom. And I mentioned this in one of my previous videos, that the other shrub was very much like this one, but this one hadn't bloomed yet. Well, now that it's blooming, I will show you both of them together. So let's, let me look at this. So this is the abelia, and you probably have seen this before, especially if you live in the South. Pretty little dangling white kind of bell-shaped flowers. There's some buds right there. And this one is in the shade, so it's just now starting to bloom. The ones that have been in the sun have been blooming for a while, but mine is shady, so it is just now beginning to bloom. Pretty little white flowers. Just a little bit of a hint of pink, perhaps. I don't see any pink on these, but sometimes they do have a little bit of pink on them. And that's what this is. It's called an abelia. A-B-E-L-I-A. -A. It's a flowering shrub. This shrub blooms in the summer rather than in the spring. I remember my grandmother having one of these, or having a whole hedge of these. Probably not a hedge, but it was alongside her porch. And the bumblebees loved them, and I was terrified of the bumblebees, and I didn't want to go on her porch because of the bumblebee bush. I call this her bumblebee bush. Well, I don't see any bumblebees on this one right now. But yes, the bumblebees do love it. A pretty shrub. Now, if I turn around right here behind me, that shrub right there in the sun is my colwitzia. It's the beauty, beauty bush. Look over here, the flowers have died and we've got seed pods on it now. Oh yeah. Seeds, seeds developing. Now I've never seen it come up from seed, though I suppose the seeds probably could be collected and propagated somehow or another. I'm sure, I'm certain that it can be propagated by seed. It's a seed plant. I think most people usually propagate this by division. But anyway, this is my Colwitzia, or beauty bush. And it's very, very closely related to the abelia that you see over there. So I will show you this video that I recorded earlier in the year of my Colwitzia. So there you go, y'all. Now I'm gonna have some other videos to show you later on, because I did this spring. When I was so busy gardening, I came out and I recorded videos of my flowering shrubs that I never did publish them. You would like to see those, I know, and especially those of you who are farther north who may just be getting... This just might be the perfect time of year for you to see these these videos. Okay, look at this. See the coetzeus? Oh, there's just seed, seed pods all over it. Of course, the proper name is not pods, but I'm not going to go into that. You know, botanists have to have names for everything. So here we go. So I'm on the way back to the chickens. That's my snowball bush. Doesn't look much like my snowball bush, does it? And that right there is my English dogwood. We'll show those later. I learned about this shrub in a book called Pass Along Plants. It was written by Steve Bender of Southern Living and Felder Rushing, who is well known in Mississippi, a gardener, a, a radio show on PBS, on the local, local PBS station. Aren't they beautiful? Pretty yellow track lines. probably seen these lines in other flowers. And do you know what they are, these spots? They're actually track lines 
to direct the bees. So the bees will follow them into the center of the flower so they can collect the pollen and at the same time, and the nectar, and then pollinate the flowers. So that's what these are for, and you'll see them in other flowers too. And that is, a, that is to direct the bees toward the center of the flowers. This shrub is several feet taller than me. It's hard for me to believe that I planted this. It's just a little big stick the summer after I moved in here. So in the spring of 2008, I planted this. So it's been here 11 years now. So this plant is called a Colwitzia, beauty bush. And I highly recommend this book if you, have, if you don't have it already, particularly if you're from the South. Called Pass Along Plants by Steve Bender and Felda Russian. Really good job of turning over that mulch.